all my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide, what can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today. Excuse me, is that a toenail? Where? Well, I bloody hope so. Hey, that piss poor design these clippers, lad. Do you have to cut them all over the floor? Made in Deutschland, mate, and hard. Us, us. When you were a small child, right? Did your mother never take? Never had a mother, you see. Never had a mother, did I? See? Sorry, I was. Gosh, she's got a mother. And right now she'll uh, be in the back bar of Mulder's arms with the Newcastle brown ale. That's a lie. She's never drunk brown ale for years for health reasons. She had to go on a Basco label barley wine. Look, can't you use a sheet of newspaper or something? What for? Look, because we've all got to live here, right, us, and we don't want your toenails all over the place. Well, there's a made bit of bad space there, aren't there? Look, look, look at all this gun doing it. Look, look, look. Well, it's made bloody well bed, you know. Stop getting out of bed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not, not, I'm not, not getting at him. I'm not, not personally, yeah. I'm not, not personally, no. No, it's just the state of this place, right? Do you know? It's like a bleeding cause, eh? Think of what? It's what Wayne calls a toilet. It's what Wayne what? Look, that's not on your bed space, is it? Oh, bollocks. I'll just let them grow up. Hey, where? Can I borrow your thingy? I think I'll be needing it myself, mate. No, man, you watch its near, man. You, you walk about. Hey, hey, if that's the best thing you've got on your horizon, Dennis, I think I can uh, offer you something a bit better. You think what? Five foot six. Blue eyes, blonde hair, oh, legs hey, up to hey, her armpit. You're not trying to fix Dennis up for one of your slags, are you? Oh, slags nothing. My one's got a nice, respectable friend, right? Oh. Yeah, and she fancies something a bit mature and interesting. And... Oh, you crappy. Yeah, and I thought you, Dennis. Yeah, anyway, I'm yeah. going to meet him down at Tivoli. Well, no, thanks. No, because of that Zagmar, is it? <laughs> you what? Oh. Just a head like, you know, you were having a scene with that Zagmar. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, hey, hey, no, nah. hey, you don't want to believe what you hear wrong here, Moxie? No, it's just that me and Neville were fair decided to have a quote lemon. <laughs> Learning German tonight, you see? She speaks perfect English as well. I've well, checked. Some other time, maybe. See, I've got this teach yourself cassette, man. Yeah. Danke yeah. schön, Herr Norris. Das ist sehr nett von Ihnen. You surprise me, Dennis. I never thought you'd fly the way flag in the language war. Fly the what? Well, you're never have to go and crawl into there, man. Let them talk English. Can't take a shower. It's broken hair. Oz. Huh? Oh, no, it's that German shampoo, man. It's got all my follicles loose. Well, I suppose I'd better put in a bit of overtime, eh? Take the pair of them on myself, like, eh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Mature. Interesting. What about this? Tonight I'm gonna love someone to death. What they call her? Uh, I don't think she's your type, Buzz. Oh, aye. Hey, hey, don't take umbrage. It's just that I don't think you'd fancy her, you know? She's a bit upmarket. Well, that's all right, man. I'm just the sort of bloke that upmarket towards can for, man. You're not a bit rough. Hey, Dennis. Dennis! Yeah? Do you remember that uh, man addressing the dry cleaners in South Gosworth? Oh, 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 she was no duchess, was she? I don't know. She had a very refined accent and she wore pearls. Had a good time with her. Another one short of coat, I guess. 
Go on, man, go on, go on, take him with you. Give the rest of us a chance to get the place cleared up. He's a bit small for you, Oz, that's it, a bit small. Well, you were just sent to his five foot six. Uh, I was exaggerating, wasn't I? Oh, well. Don't tell him, do you? Come on, come on, get your suit on and come with me. Hey, hey, hey. Harry! Harry! Sure. There's one. Ah, stop! Good at Marvin, eh, tennis? Good at Marvin, you Eh, uh, V Gibbs. Oh, well, we're in for well out of this. Now, listen. I want you on your best behaviour, all right? I have been on before, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, no swearing or breaking wind out loud, OK? All right, all right. We'll bring up a really good cover story for you, won't we? Huh? Hey, John. Everybody knows you're knocking off that sack, man. Oh, my God, you man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Sehr gut aus. Ja, stimmt das, aber kann ich glauben, dass sein Vater so vornehm ist? Was das, hey? oh, He doesn't look rich. No, 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 he does his best to be like one of the lads, Oz. See, his father earns the business we all work for, you know. And uh, Oz takes over when the old man retires, you know. In the meantime, he's got to work as a common bricklayer. Just, just, uh, just for three months, as he learns the business from all sides, like, you know. Whoa, great. Cheers, girls. That was dry as a boot. Ben was telling us about your father. Oh, that booger. Oh, that booger. Oh, aye. Uh, good bloke, me old man. Started from nothing, you know, and uh, built an empire. Isn't that right, Wayne? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's right. Um, I was just telling the girls, you know, uh, one day it'll all be yours. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, uh, there's my calpines. And Wimpy's, and then as Osborne and son, that's us. In the meantime, you are just one of the boys. Look again, pet, one of the men. Yeah, wait, wait. I'm not sure if I can keep this up yet. I didn't think you had that sort of problem on us. <laughs> no, no, man, you're not what I'm talking about, man. The stringing the bird along, man. But you're all right, mate. It's just a matter of uh, establishing your credibility, you know? Rest is down to your personal magnetism, isn't it, son? I don't know why you've got to cut out so soon. Well, it's actually the best, Sam. Divide and rule, that's what I always say. See, I've been spending so much time on your case, I've been neglecting the lovely idea, haven't I? Well, look, you'll have to lend us a couple of hundred. I thought Nev gave you 50. He did, he did, but it's not going to last long in this place at these prices, is it? I mean, this only looks sophisticated. I mean, she might want steak. Well, it is a cat landed, right? Great trade. Now, if that runs out, use your American Express gold card, all right? Oh, yes. Never leave the hut without it, do I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, girls. Right, girls. Yay. Ready for another drinkies? Yeah, get them in, win. <laughs> Guten Tag, mein Herr. Was? Guten Tag, mein Herr. Uh, guten Tag, uh, Benzin, bitte. Wie viel Benzin? 30 Liter, bitte. 30, not 30? Oh. Right. Ah, that sounds really German, that does, you know. You know I, I really admire you, too, for taking an opportunity for educational advancement, you know. You know, when you get back to England, you, you could have another string to your bar. Yeah. They'll be able to order petrol on the M1 in German. Wollen Sie ein Trinknev? Ah, ja, das ist ein good idea. What's that mean? We're going over the club for a drink. You come, Barry? No, 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 thanks. I'd better get through this, already. Well, permanent press seems to have lost its meaning these days. Moxie? I like to, you know, but uh, I'm skins. Oh, don't worry about that, Mox, man. Us paid us back that 50 orders. Oh, great. Oh, no! What's the matter? Well, he must have took it back again. Well, he's got an important date, hasn't he? Down at Tivoli. Uh, he never asked, though. Hey, it makes me mad. He takes advantage of a good night. You never if you ask me. Do a bloke like I was a fear when he walks all over you. Can you see the footprints of me face? Well, look, you can't do anything about it tonight, no? I can't, I will. There's a principle involved here. I've tried this on once too often. Where do you see it went? Uh, down the table here, was. Right, I'm off down there. Auf Wiedersehen, mein friend. Bollocks. 
Strange quirk of fate this, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, who'd have thought that me, who's always hated crowds? You always hated what? Eh, uh, crowds, crowds, uh, traffic. I've always uh, liked the countryside, you know. Oh, I too. Uh, but you were saying about fate. Yeah, well, I mean, who would have thought that I'd be expanding the family empire here in Germany? Where will you live? Well, in a hut. You see, we couldn't get any decent hostel accommodation because it. All it... oh, right, where will I live? Um, well, in the mountains, over a river, you know. A small castle would just about do it. After all, I'm all alone. Where do you live, Ori? Oh, please, I'd rather not talk about me. Yeah, you're not married, are you? Divorced. Oh, all right, aye. Dennis is getting a divorce. That's Dennis, one of the lads who works for us, you know. Oh, it's costing him a fortune in maintenance. I try to be independent with money. Uh-huh. I have my own job. Have you? As a beauty consultant. Oh, right, right. Well, that's a canny job, isn't it? Hey, listen, you'll have to do me two nails sometime. It's hard to be independent with a jealous boyfriend. Boyfriend? What, is he, a uh, big bloke, is he? Yes, but he's not so important as you are. I've wanted to leave him for a long time, but uh, he's very possessive. Well, you know, I can be very possessive myself, you know, when I, when I have to be. I can be. When the need arises, I can... Oh, I want a word with you. Oh, excuse me, Pat. Uh, just want a quick word with the chief here. Oh, um, is this one of your men? Uh, yeah, one of the lads. That's that's about it. So you're in Oz's company, huh? Oh, yeah. Dear Nate. Yeah, look, uh, I don't know what you're up to soon. Uh, listen, um, uh, will 50 do you? Oh, look, so us. You're oh, a gentleman? I know, I know, but, you know, there's no need to tell everybody about it, man. Right, sir. Uh, good night, miss. Now, don't be late in the morning, will you? <laughs> Young and daft, you know. Cheers. Beers, lads. Oh, Why shout now? No, no, punk. I'll get him in. Oz just paid us back. Age? Never. Like a lamb? Well, I'll have a Williams then. See, this is a special occasion. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think he was just trying to impress that lass he was with. And uh, two beers as well, these mates. Yeah, yeah. What's your like, eh? Very tasty, actually. Aye, oh, you missed something there, Den. Dear Mark. Did you behave yourself like? Seemed to be. Oh, the funny thing was uh, her kind of attitude to him. The way she looked at him like. All of a quiver we'd lost, we? No, but uh, sort of affectionate. As if she liked being with him. Oh, Buck. You know, the older I get, less I understand women. I don't know what they want, who they want it from. Oh, no, but I certainly wouldn't think they'd want it from ours. <laughs> Hey, you were home early last night, weren't you? Yeah. Well, I didn't expect to come home at all then. Yeah. I hate to admit it, mate. Well, I think I was a bit better than me last night. Never. Yeah. I want you to worry them. Just when I signed on to be a man. Have we, uh, we had all the gory details yet, then? Eh? Not a word. But he seems so naturally cheerful. <laughs> you know, I've never noticed it before, but uh, what a canny job a German brick is. You know, firm. All the edges nice and square. Everyone the same. Perfect, really. This is serious. Well, uh, I suppose it is a bit more symmetrical, Lee. Eh? Do you not think the British brick's got more character? I don't really. I've come to respect the German brick. Gentlemen, the evidence is overwhelming. Oz is in love. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, well, ever since we came out here, you've been bad mouth and everything German. Now all of a sudden you're getting all poetic about the bricks. Ah, oh, well, sometimes, Dennis, you know, certain things happen that make you see other things in a different light. What, like Uli, you mean? Tell us about it, then. Don't keep us in suspense. 
Listen, whatever passed between Ollie and me is our affair. Oh, it's an affair now, is it, eh? <laughs> I thought it was on the cards when I seen them. Aye. Now, listen, I'd just like to put a lid on this, if you don't mind, eh? Because, I mean, there's some relationships you don't want all the lads happen about, you know? I mean, there's some relationships that you'd like to be kept private and confidential. I mean, I thought you would understand that, Dennis. You're the one that's humping that dog more. <laughs> <laughs> have to be a castle. I mean, just somewhere with a bit of space, that's all. You know, a bit of room to breathe, uh, enough room to have a, a sauna and a pool table. Well, my house isn't so large. And it's in the suburbs, more than the country. Yeah, but it is your own house, isn't it? Well, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. No, but as I say, you see, when I take over the business... When will that be? Well, uh, November. It's my dad's birthday. And, uh, he'll hand over to me then, you see. No, but as I say, when I take over the business, I'm not going to have a lot of time to mess around looking for accommodation. But you will have a secretary and an assistant. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they're going to be stretched to the limit of organising things. I mean, <laughs> I, don't like the, I don't like to really put onto them. I can see you as somebody who really needs looking after. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's me, isn't it? Poor little rich boy. <laughs> so, uh, where'd you learn to do that, then, Bob? Eh? Oh, he picked up a lot of tricks in my time, boy. Here we are. Ah, oh, you're a mate, Bob. Cheers. That's Das, Nev. Das is ein grosser Bier. Oh, that's a canny jumper, man. Hey, I'll tell you what, we can hang it on the wall, eh? When he's not wearing it. Eh? That's very decorative, oh, No, you can't. <laughs> oh, I'll cover up that stain for the night, Moxie, Pewter. Buddy. Hey, this is my best, this. Whoa. Where'd you get it, us? Huh? It was a present, didn't you? Yeah, you sure. must think a lot of yeah? yeah. Oh, hey. See, I'm just realising now, the kind of tell accents here. As far as she knows, I could be talking the same as a Queen Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Must be pretty thick if she thinks you're the Queen Mother. Hey, shut your face, you. That's my fiancée you're talking about. Queen Mother? Huh? Fiancée? Ah, oh, that's what you call somebody I'm going to marry, isn't it? What are you talking about, man? You're already married. Ah, in England. Can I hold that against us here? About what? Oz. Yeah. Note. Oh, come on, Dan. You've known him the longest. No, I've known him long enough to realise he's a lost course. Look, he doesn't listen to a thing, I see. Eh? Why waste me breath? Got the hell in a handbasket for all I care. This isn't like you, Dan. Oh, I'm learning fast, kid, you know. I mean, ever since we got out here, I've been wet nursing that bugger. Right, we all have. If he gets into problems, we have to get him out of them. Gets into debt, we have to cough up. Aye, oh, but there's other people to consider this time, as well as Oz. There's his missus and this other lass. That's still not our business, Neville. Look, if Oz decides to commit bigamy, that's his business. First time I want to hear about it, it's in the news of the world, mate. Oh, dear me, what a miserable pair. Cheer up, man, it may never happen. Look a bit down in the dumps, mate. Feeling a bit homesick or what? Don't you ever get homesick, Moxie? Well, where I come from, mate. Two up, two down in Dodge City. With me mother and her latest. When he's not on the piss, he's either beating up the kids or molesting my sister. How different. How very different from the home life of our own dear queen. Huh? I've never lived anywhere as bad as this. Do you, Neville? Coming round to your inexorable logic, my point of view. Huh? My arguments been working on your unconscious. What arguments? For a well-considered programme of redecoration for this pig hole. Well, what's that got to do with me being homesick? Well, then you wouldn't be homesick, would you, Neville? Instead of this place being like a concentration camp, 
Be more like a home. Not without Brenda, it wouldn't. Anyway, I don't want it to be more like a home. I want to be homesick. I enjoy it, buddy. Oh, but I certainly don't want to get fond of this place, do I? Do you know what you are, Nev? You're a masochist. What? It means you're somebody who enjoys pain and discomfort, Neville. Pain and discomfort. Oh, two words which could well sum up the quality of life in this place, you know, fellas. That's what's at stake here, you know. We're in quality of life. Quality of beer, that's what I care about. Yeah, okay. Oh, you are concerned about standards, then. Listen, fellas. I've been doing some calculations, oh, right? Oh, somebody's going to give him a beer, will you? I... I've been doing some calculations, right? And I found out that each one of us individually spends 100 hours a week in this pig hole. 100 hours? That's a lifetime. I, but most of the time you're asleep, man. Makes no difference, Dennis. Because even then your, your subconscious is, is being seeped into by the depressing atmosphere. Or it oozes into you by osmosis. I think he's got a point there. Now, hold on a minute. Let me get this straight, right? You're on about decorating the art. Correct. Yeah. Well, let me ask you two questions. Right, one, where are we going to get the paint? Two, who's going to do the work? And what are the overgrouping Fuhrer's going to say about it, eh? Huh? That's three questions. Well, that's all the more reason, isn't it? Eh? Look, it would all be done on a democratic basis, right? A, we would share the cost. B, we would share the work. And C, I can't see the overgrouping Fuhrer's objecting to any improvements around here. Uh, wait a minute, how do you mean share the cost? I need that money for me spare room. Sod the cost. What about the work? You're asking us to come in from our day's grafting and start all over again. Come on. Look, this place isn't that big, is it? How much work would it be between a lot of us? A couple of evenings a week, that's all. Ah, now, count me out, Barry, because, uh, see, I'm out every night, aren't I? No, you're not. You're not out tonight. Yeah, well, tonight's an exception. You weren't out on Tuesday. Well, that was another exception. You were here right? on Monday as well. You've got a lot of exceptions, you know, Wayne. Well. Look, I like to pace myself, thank you. Yo, why are you pacing yourself? You can give us arm with the painting. Who side you are? Thanking you, Moxie. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not the worst idea I've heard. It'll break the place up a bit. Thank oh, you. Aye, aye, aye. But it still leaves who's going to pay for it, though, doesn't it? Not so much for our resourcefulness if he has to pay for paint, is it? Where well, you getting that, Bummer? Under the side of the site. They've already started painting. Right, I'll get a picture, and you reckon a bit of that paint could uh, stroll on over the hut, eh? That's right, man. <laughs> Never get away with it. No. Got security on it. Only to stop it leaving the site. Yeah, hasn't occurred to him someone would be daft enough to use it on the site, has it? Look at that. Are we on bet? Aye. Oh, you can help me in. Aye, wait. If it's free, I suppose so. Something to do, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, well, I mean, seeing as we're not paying for it, I suppose it's all right. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Could lead to trouble, you know. Stealing materials from our place of work is dishonest. Oh, how we ate, Barry. It was your idea in the first place. <laughs> the quality of life, Barry. Do you want it or don't you? On the other hand, I mean, we wouldn't really be stealing it, would we? I mean, we wouldn't be, like, you know, removing it. Oh, no, no, we'd be... We'd be taking that paint and... What? Redistributing it. And redistribution cannot be construed as theft. Oh, no, not in the proper sense, no. Is he in or not? Ah, oh, I think so. Oh, well, the lads, uh, that's an ugly, isn't it, run, that's we? Huh? What's the panic like? Well, you know, all the addicts are started. I mean, it doesn't do the lag behind, does it? Oh, yeah. Guten Tag, uh, Herr Ulrich. Wie geht's? Mir geht's ganz gut, Osborne. Und ich bin sehr beeindruckt, dass Sie Deutsch zu sprechen versuchen. Pardon? <laughs> he says he's very impressed, does that you're trying to learn German. <laughs> oh, I will, uh, just a few words. I haven't got that far yet. Yeah, but you're trying, Osborne. That's good. Also, you're now starting back to work quickly. In Germany, just because we have a break does not mean we always take it. That's great, that is, isn't it, eh? We're on a legitimate break. He makes it look as if we're skiving. Still creeping round the Germans, then. No, oh, no, man, look. Since I've been seeing Ollie Bummer, I've seen things in a different light. I mean, I now realise it takes all sorts to make the world. I mean, the average German's all right. Oh. Compared to them Turks. Oh, it's, uh, it's good to know he hasn't changed that much, Bummer, eh? What's wrong with the Abdul, son? 
Look, they account for half the crime in the German cities. All cobblers. Have a look around, man. The only dirty parts in this town is parts where the Abduls live. Well, that's not their fault, man. They're over here in sweated labour. They get the worst housing, the lowest wages. They're unclean in their habits, Dennis. See, you're uh, still pretty keen on this Uli, then, or is that? Well, you've seen her. Oh, sure. I'm not saying she's not unattractive, but uh, you're a married man, or? Oh, how oh, well, never man. We got married too young, man. We stuck in it for eight years. That's long enough. I mean, let's face it. Me and Margie's not exactly Charles and Diana, is we? No. no. I mean, I don't kid myself. Marjorie's a bit flighty. She's still seen that bloke on the breweries, you know. Well, you should have put a stop there that long time, of course. What have you seen the size of him? He lifts um, barrels up with one hand, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Look, I've all got to agree on one decent colour. It's as simple as that. Well, I like pink. Oh, never mind. Why when Brenda and me was on our honeymoon, the hotel room was pink. Why don't I live in a pink room? It's not a man's colour. What are the Eriks and the Abdul's going to think if they find out us lot are living in a pink shed? They're doing my reputation a lot of harm, that You know what green is not? That, eh? That, it's soothing, is green. But we used to have an old in the old bathroom. That was lovely shade. Sounds like a bloody council estate. Well, oh. what's wrong with that? Hey, you're one of the privileged living on a council estate. Hey, right. right, listen, look, look, I, I think we've got, to, we've got to settle this by democratic means. Right, how's this? Each bloke can have the bit round his bed the colour he likes. Right, I'll have my bit pink. Wait a minute. When I wakes up, I look straight at that bit of wall behind your bed. I'll be seeing pink. Oh, and that'll make him see red, won't it? Oh, oh man. man. <sighs> look, man, we can't have the hood decorated in stripes. That's balmy, man. Well spoken, Dennis. We've got to agree on one decent yeah. colour. Look, I have actually worked out a way of doing it. Right, look. Now, now listen, look. Right, I've got a, a list of colours, right? Now, I've got a colour for first choice and a colour for second, right? Now, each colour gets two points, uh, two points of first choice and one for second, right? No, 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 no. Hey, we used this method when we elected the chairman of the West Bromwich and District Sunday Methodist Table Tennis League. Ah, oh, well, Barry, uh, it's tried and tested then, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, come here, buddy. The suspense is killing us. Patient, Apparently, the polls are predicting purple. Aye, well, the polls don't have to live in our hut, do they? Have you changed in place for a moment? <coughs> I is the returning officer for oh, the big guy. Come on, 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 come well, one point. Oh, Who one voted point. yellow? Oh, I don't like yellow. Me neither. It's not a man's colour. Three is a fiddle. I demands a recount. Figures don't lie, you know. So whose first yeah. choice was it then, eh? Nobody's. Well, then how <laughs> could it win? Because those two people had the same first choice. So, so everybody's first choice only got two points. That's right. And yellow got three second places. Well, that's a smashing system, that is, buddy, isn't it? Mm. Eh? Everybody gets what nobody wants. That's democracy, Dennis. Oh, get don't talk. Don't talk. I 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 don't talk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Gonna have to be a bloody sight more slippery than that when we get the paint. Yeah, we do that under cover of darkness, right? We must say. What's this then? It's the work roster. Hmm. Say, it's two of us every night, right? Tonight it's me and Mox, right? And tomorrow, day two, it's Neville and Wayne. All right, all right, I can read. 
as long as I'm not on tonight. Because tonight, Bummer's going to get his weary muscles relaxed with a good massage. Hey, Bummer, you not get fed up with that massage parlour? Oh, I don't go to one, Dennis. I circulate myself. One of the German lads is taking me over to Crayfield tonight. <laughs> Makes a change. So, uh, how do you know I'm free tomorrow night, then, eh? Well, aren't you? As a matter of fact, I am, yeah. <laughs> but that could have been a very false assumption. Uh, I, I think you could swap with somebody else, couldn't you? Look, I've written down the bottom here, right? Provisions for alternative arrangements. But who's that? What's it? What, we're going to put up the smell of that, aren't we? Well, I you'd be out of your early, didn't we, eh? Give her a few tips on how to behave with the British upper classes. No, oh, she can't see us. Denise has got to go and see her, Mum. Oh, I can just imagine it as it happens, Oz. Mother, I'm going out with this rich British tycoon who's pretending to be a poor slob of a Britney. <laughs> well, that was your idea, that, son. Oh, he's just jealous of us. Well, you can't bloom up all that bummer, can you? Oh. What do you think? Oh, I likes it. Yeah, I'm not jealous of the rollicking you're going to get when she tumbles you, Squire. Right, Bummer's away. Hey, Bummer, we uh, in the pub over the road. Want to drop in there in the weird back, eh? I might do, Dan. Give you a first hand account. Oh, first hand. Got to be one of my witty evenings. Oh. Which nights will you be seeing your intended Oz? Because I've got to fit you into the hey, ros hey. roster, I saw it. No, no, just leave me off that, because I can't see me being in here much longer. What do you mean, then? Well, I mean, me and Ollie will be moving in together. It's just after the royal wedding. Soon as possible, really. Is that what she wants? Aye. Uh, well, she's pretty keen on moving to England, you know, but uh, I'll have to talk her out of that one. I oh, know, you're right there, Roz, you know. Might blow your cover, eh? I mean, you can't see a last leak that in a high rise in gear, Ted, can you? I'd steer well clear of gates, Ted, if I were you, son. Mm. <laughs> Good evening, my herr. Good evening. Ah, you English. The English are always welcome here. I will get someone to take uh, good care of you. What will you? We met before, my dear. I do not think so. My name is Uli. Relaxed, I've done your neck a pair of good, is it, sunshine? <laughs> Can I have one of you, Chief? Sure. Yeah. Tarzan? No, he's, uh, he's over the hood, helping with the decorating. Oh, he's lying on his bed, criticising. <laughs> ah, he's very good at interior decor, Arrows. What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, matter, Bob? It's a bit awkward. I think this should go no further. What? I met Uli tonight. Uli? What was his Uli? I thought you'd went to a massage parlour. Eh? Well, I did. That's the point. Never. Well, she works there. Head girl by the looks of it. I believe it. I met her through that ID, you know. What, is she in that game as well? No, 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 no. She works on the cosmetic counter at Miller's. She does. Well, at least I hope she does. <sighs> Certainly smells like it. Look, are you sure it was her, Bob? Her name was Uli and I recognised it from the photograph. So, she's not a beauty consultant. Well, what do you think she does round there, son, eh? Facials? <laughs> it gets worse. According to my mate Deirdre, who took me there, her boyfriend's a bloke at Owen's place. Nasty piece of work, he looks. So, she lied to him? Huh. He extolled him, doesn't he? Yeah, I'll call it poetic justice myself. Well, we're going to tell him. Suppose I'll have to, eh? Well, Oz might be very upset, you know. Emotionally, like. <laughs> it's a sobering fault, isn't it? Hey, everyone, look, look! Look here, look. look I've, got, I've got something to show you, look. Oh, I, I don't know where it lands. We'll be back, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Let's carry yeah. on the boat now. On the few minutes. Hey, Osh, can I have a word, mate? 
Well, I'm gonna move. Yeah, it's a private one. Come here. Huh? What? Yeah. Ooh, I like so. Hey, you're not going to put that up in here, are you? Why not? Oh, what's Brenda going to think? Well, she won't see it, will she, eh? I'm surprised at you, though, Barry. I wouldn't have thought that was in your taste, son. Oh, no, I bought it for the technique, Wayne. To be quite honest, I didn't really notice the subject. <laughs> Do you know, you're the only geezer I know that could say that, and I believe him. Oh, thank you, Wayne. That wasn't a compliment, Barry. Well, I thought it was. What's it for? It's a very good question, Moxie. What is art for? Yeah, essentially, I think it's to make our life more rich and fulfilled, you know. Tell you what, also keep that draft out from over me bed. Just to set you back a few, Bob. Fifty marks? But, Senna, for a real art painting? I don't believe no, it. No, it's not an art painting. No, it's, um, it's a new reproduction process. Oh, you know, if this wasn't original, you know, it'd be, oh, be priceless. Looks real enough to me. Well, that's the new process, isn't it? Yeah, fellow I got it from was telling me all about it. It, it, you know, it's the biggest breakthrough in synthetic oil painting reproduction there's ever been. Oh, all right, we believe you. Yeah, you know, see what they do is right. They start with a photograph, right? But that doesn't give you the, you know, like, like the depth that you need to, cr to create the real impression of oils. So, then what they do is they photograph it, right, from two, two other angles. Oh, they're minutely different. Now, the real skill, you see, comes in the combination of those three photographs, right? Scientifically, it's something that... Look, mate, if it's any consolation to you, there's only me Neville knows about this. Uh, and Bomber, of course. And uh, Wayne. Well, that's all the friggin' hot, isn't it? Well, none of us are the sort of shouted from the rooftop, are we? It's made a right fool of me, aren't you? Well, she's had a bit of help from you, Oz. Still, nice last though, then, you know. I mean, not just looks, you know. Clothes, deportment, that sort of thing. Cut above what I'm used to. Well, maybe it's all for the best, man. I mean, you know, considering your home circumstances. I would just put it out your mind, man. It's not that easy, though. No. If you do have that, you'll die, oh. It's done. So it's true, eh? How did you find me here? Never mind. I'll get your coat on. I want to talk to you. Not, perhaps later. Later? I think the sooner the better, do you not? Good morning. Evening. Ah, you English. The English are always welcome here. The gentleman is not staying. Is that not so? Well, apparently not. But listen, we've got to have a talk. I mean, there's things to be said, isn't there? Look, I'll be in the Tivoli tomorrow night, eh? Ne demek istiyor? Bu akşam Tivoli barında seni görmek istiyor. Konuş bakalım. Es ist nichts. Nichts? Nichts? Utanmadan benim arkamdan geçir görüyorsun değil mi? Gidip yabancı erkekle görüşüp işler buluyorsun arkamdan. Utanmaz seni. Good God, Moxie. Oh, well done. The old magic's still there, you know. What do you think, Nev? I think we're all going to get caught. Oh, I think it's a touch too high myself. I better I lengthen the string. Oh, shh, shh, shh. I hear them coming one the other way. Well, let's hope nobody else can. Shh. What is it? The Turks gear don't. It's all right. They're playing cards. Did you get them all? Yeah. Well done, lads. We're recording to play. Aye, perfect. 
needs needs a calmer thing like this, doesn't it, eh? Needs nerves of steel. Oh, yeah, you handled yourself very well, son, eh? Hanging round the hut. Still an accessory, way. Sound like a bloody handbag. Hey, I did the padlock, Nev. The old magic's still there. Is this the right colour? That's never yellow. That looks more like grey. Bottle of soup grey? I don't think anybody buys you for grey. Well, I'm not having grey. Reminds me of prison. <sighs> Bully? Oh, it's you, you English bastard. Hey, I've got your son, I think this is in English to face any. The English push to tell you that's a hard job to get it. What are you talking about, man? He's one of them. Right. Well, whatever he said, he's made them change their mind. I reckon you owe them a bit of an apology. We've been running them down. Oh, look, someone give us a clap, will ya? Fair dues, us. I reckon you ought to go round here in the morning and say thanks, son. Oh, I tilt my book here, flies like the little nut. Listen, mate, one of them Abdul's tries to stick an out in me guts, right? And another one stops him. That makes it even Stephen as far as I'm concerned. Right back well, where don't step in to making it worse. <laughs> Hey! What's so funny? <laughs> why, why you laugh? Get off. This man saying, him taking my woman, I cutting him. So what? So what? What, what, what you laugh? <laughs> See what? I saying no cutting him. He's our friend working together, but he says no. Him taking my woman, I cutting him. Very mad. Very mad. I didn't see that. He gives up his bloody rock. So how how did you change his mind? I saying quick. He's not taking your woman. He knowing this man. He's not taking any woman. He has nothing with women. What? What? He's saying he's nothing for women. This man. What's he talking about? Nothing for women, this man. Very ingenious. So he laugh and go away. Hey, hey, Dennis. Here. What the one about here? Like you can do with that. Cheers. Cheers, Bill. Can you do with that to you, Daddy? Yeah. I'm a surprise. Bloody maniac. He come after me with a knife, you know? Yes, he told me. Did he tell you about what the, uh... What the Turk said? Oh. Yeah. Well, I suppose we're only trying to help, you know. What a bloody cheek, though. Well... I didn't tell him that I know better. Look, I'm sorry I lied to you. I want to explain. You were my only chance to get out. 
to go to England where he could hurt me. Now, you must have been pretty desperate to pick a bloke like me. Oh, but you were nice and, and kind. Yeah, and rich. Oh, no, that had nothing to do with it. Really? Well, of course. Because uh, I wasn't true, you know. No? Nah. Well, you weren't the only one that sort of made things out to be, uh, you know, a little bit different to what they were. Listen, I'm not any tycoon's son. Me dad hasn't even got a business. No? Nah, nah. Me old man was a, a layabout and a drunk. He buggered off when I was a bairn. Last thing I saw of him was uh, hunting around the house for a pair of socks prior to pissing up to the Persian Gulf on an oil tanker. See, I spun that whole yarn just to uh, try and impress you, you know. Kept it all going just to keep you. Well, I feel better <laughs> that you also didn't tell the truth. <laughs> Well, you might as well know the lot. I'm married as well. You're married? Officially. Only in England, mind. Oh. You know. But, I mean, you've got somebody as well, haven't you? I mean, you've got this Kamal bloke. Yes, I have Kamal. Right. <laughs> Look, only, I mean, the main thing is you've got to give this bloke the elbow, haven't you? You've got to give him the heave-ho, the push, the shove, you know. Leave the bugger. You know, I mean... Try to pack a bag and try a new town. It's difficult. I know, I know, but I thought maybe, you know, when this is all blown over, I thought maybe we could pick it up where we left off. Maybe, huh? But, uh, you know, Kamal is a bad man, and I don't want any more trouble for you. No, he not cause me any more trouble. He not cause you any more trouble either. He's only one man, you know. Yes, but he has two brothers, and they're all bad people. Yes, but I've got six mates, and if we count the whole building site, that's nearly a hundred. I don't think the Kamal brothers will want to mess with that lot. Been in the building business, you know, it's easy for us to see uh, how flimsy this construction is. Isn't that right, lads? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's definitely jetty built. We could sneeze if you fall down. What I'm saying is, you see, we're just as good at demolition as we are at construction. You are threatening me? Aye, that's the word. Listen, you lay one more finger on that girl, right? And he'll hit you so hard, your family will feel it back in Istanbul. She may try munching, she said. That's near Munich, apparently. Got a friend there, you know. Oh, well, maybe it's all for the best hours. Oh, maybe he's, maybe he's not, though. <laughs> God, I'll have to put that pain back in now. Fumes for me to affect me sinuses. Ah, oh, shut your yap, will you, man? You're sniffling a little git. There's people in here that's got more important things than that, that means, you know. Hold on. Yeah, you won't have any more problems in that department, son. Yeah, we've got a little surprise for you, I know, Barry. Mm -hmm. Thought we might cheer you up, son. Oh, what well, says? Ta da! <laughs> oh? Ugh.